Well, hello everybody, Mana here, playing some Osterv, and our wagons are falling into the river, and uh, it's, it's December, 1733. They can't keep us down, they brought out another patch, patch four, which means season two, I'm sorry, season three, because it's alpha three, uh, it, it lives to see another episode. Uh, if you watched all the way to the end, I built some like crazy, horrible... Uh, entrance so I worked on that just a tad I uh, closed it out fenced off the whole place look at that that's our whole town population 217 and other than that just kind of did some cleaning up since last episode because it was almost the finale but they brought something new out you want to see what it is yeah you do that's why you're here brand new benches Yay! We have new benches, everybody. Oh, look at that. The snow is already falling on the bench. Snow textures on top of the benches. I love it. Um, they did actually do some shadowing. Let's check that out. Oh, look at the shadowing of the bridges on the water. Um, and then there's more in the patch notes. The big thing. Let me unpause it. I'm just kidding. It wasn't just the benches. Look at this. We have... An official, legit trade port on the water. Which is now ice getting covered in snow. And it's been a while since I've brought you in. You know, usually it's during the thaw, not during the dumping of white on our beautiful little town. But that's okay. That's okay. Wanted to bring you along. I'll get this built. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just bring you into the future when we have some actual trade happening. So, that's the real focus roundabout meandering way to get there the focus of today is the trading dock because we've never had it before and look at that all hands uh on deck to get this built so it's pretty cool i already brought a lot of the materials a little bit more wood which is no longer the truth and a little bit more clay which they got to go all the way across town right here and get some clay so the struggle is real I mean, just kidding, it's right here, so it's not. Um, but while that's getting built, let me show you some things. Look, I built a tree farm up here, and I know it's not totally needed, but it kind of made a point of this because everyone on this side of town does enjoy the new forestry center. So it is working out. So as you can see, I actually made a nice fencing all the way around the whole town now, so a little less craziness. Um, more houses on the way. Which is quite nice. We also have uh, flour being processed over here. And yeah, bridges being made. The town is a growing. I like how we have it all kind of forded off with the main entrance here. So it's going to be nice to have trade in a whole nother kind of way. So it felt a little bit crowded down here. However, um, in reality... It's kind of right down by our hub, so I don't know. I might get rid of this fishing dock over time, but uh, I kind of like the busy downtown situation. So uh, let's go full speed, see if we can get some builders coming on over here. Let's see, taking a rest, buying food. There you go, constructing a building. Watch this thing get built up here. Times two speed, a little bit more enjoyable. Yeah, hope you guys are doing well. I've been playing some Kerbal and some Transport Fevers on the way. That's right, more campaigns. Because we are almost finished. But I uh, was really excited today to log in and see that there was an update for Ostrov. And it took priority over all. And what an update. I knew they were thinking like, hey, do we throw some content at you? There was some uh, voting on Twitter. It's so nice to see the developer also kind of leaving it up to the community is what's going on which is quite cool look at that beautiful view of downtown as we go um there were some cool new features like when you're building out a farm field it shows the size which helps for building a better uh you know nice squares and a little more efficiency and better better looking um i'd still like some button to just remove the ui to take a nice screenshot because the, the game has a lot of beauty I'd like to show it off. We have a roof. We are almost there. I'm excited to say. 
We have all the new content, and it's in the middle of winter, so we can't really do much uh, with it. Nice and snowy. But it's good to have it done. So I have a feeling it's going to be the same as our other place. Yep. Like, we're going to be able to be selling all the stuffs. Um, yeah. Interesting. I was looking for buckwheat, because that's what I got a lot of. And that's not something we can do. Um, export. We could do a hemp thing, even though I know we don't. We, we want to use our hemp, but, uh, you know, we got to get something in the trading port. We use all that hemp. We're going to get fish, obviously. We'll do uh, a thousand of those. And let's get laborers available on this. Laborers by cart. Very nice, so they can start stocking it up even though we don't have any workers. Um, yeah, it's interesting that we can't do... Ah, only available. There we go. Oh, that's nice and new. Wow, really? I don't have any buckwheat available? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Complete... Completed construction. A little financial help there. Of the reforestation area. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm also doing a, uh, a triangle of trees here. And I know they will do the trees on their own. Hey, look at that. We've got our wagon working. We did get a wagon repaired at our uh, carpentry shop, just like the carts. So that was nice. I, sh I am going to... Nah, it's fine. They can run at 50% full. Uh, another part of the update was new textured chickens. So... Uh, I don't remember looking at them up close too much before, but uh, those chickens be bobbing their heads as they do. So yeah, there you go. Um, this is what's happening. Getting things built. Uh, I like that we can add things that aren't there. Oh yeah, I was having a little bit of freak out over... Um, like food. Uh, potatoes we have... Oh, like 10,000. But buckwheat, is it not getting... Um, yeah, need to get that harvested and uh, turned into just straight up buckwheat. So, farmers are busy. That's what's happening. Speaking of that, we have a trader in town. And now I'm wondering, oh, you know what? It's a trader on a horse. And I'm wondering if we're going to have a trader show up like with a picture of a boat in the future. Hmm. And I wonder what happens if they get scheduled and then it's winter time. Maybe they only get scheduled during summertime. Hopefully. It's all brand new, right? So we're going to learn it. We're going to figure it out. Right now, I'm going to just buy up uh, not all of it. I like just doing halvesies. Um, oh, finally, someone's buying. Yeah, they need charcoal. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as I said that, I'm you, you get... Oh, they only can sell 800. It's a deal. I'm sold. Um... Oh, and I have a thousand buckwheat in here, too, so... Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get to selling. I'm going to get to uh, moving into the future. And I'm going to bring you back when I have something to talk about for the trading dock. Because that's what I want to focus on. And hopefully it will either be a trader showing up. Or, um, yeah, some kind of options or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. But I will. And I'll let you know in a second. So hold on tight. Because we're going to do that warp. All right, all right. We have warped into the future. It's just now March. Uh, 1734, nothing too big. And the trading dock. So what I noticed was I went to the world map because there's a big convenient button. Look at this new town. And it says by the river. And it only costs 20. So we're sending a messenger. And that's what's going to happen. Uh, so hopefully that will get us a boat transport because the river's just thawing out. And we'll see how that goes. So... Back to full speed ahead. I'm just building a lot more homes. Uh, population still only up to 219, but uh, it is on the way up. I'm trying to keep up with, like, little market stalls everywhere. Uh, spotting them around. Uh, covering all the areas. People are going to go less for food. Ah, there we go. Look at that. It's a picture. That would be cool if that was like a picture of a boat. Because we do know what's going on here. So they offer a bunch of salt. That's really cool. I'm not going to spend that much money on it, but I'm going to spend, um, let's, 
what's what's 500 get me? For 50? No, let's go with a, a thousand for a hundred and deal. And it's a little picture of a boat coming this way. So it'll take sunflower oil, flour, clothes, and sallow. I wonder how much this is going to uh, change over time. Because uh, if that's going to stay consistent, we can drop our sunflower oil from here and flour and do that just here. But can I go ahead? Do I have it? Uh, sunflower oil, yes. And we're going to crank that up to a thousand. So don't know if we're going to be able to get it traded this time. Uh, but trades are happening. Things are things are moving. Now I'm wondering where where is this boat going to come from? We've never seen a trading boat before. Uh, it's moving in quick. As soon as I see that hit. Uh, oh, how much? Oh, we can't can sell, but we don't have any here yet. That's too bad. Waiting for him to disappear. At our city. He's on his way, he's on his way, he's on his way. And he's here. So let's see. <gasps> Ooh, yes! It's real, it's happening. Trading boats are here. Nice. Full up with the zooming is still... There we go. Full up with the salt. Oh my goodness. We're going to go full speed. Watch him haul it in. Motorboats on point. New village house built. I saw that they very quickly had a food problem. And a money problem, but it's all good. Now look at how far these fishermen go now to fish. I kind of like it. But I know it does take some extra time. Nice, coming on in town for the first time, trading boats. Oh my, it's happening. So pretty cool for new content. Let's see if we can actually get it in and out without uh, breaking. And did we get any sunflower? We can export 28. Will they send a boat for merely 28? I'm going to say, yeah, let's go for it. For $5, send me your boats. Or I wonder if I have a boat that I... That'd be cool if I needed... Here, that would be cool. For importing, sure thing. But if I wanted to, like, uh, export goods, it'd be cool if I had to build a boat. I mean, I don't know if you guys think that. but uh, So this is going to be the first issue. Here is the trading port and the bridges. Like, I'm, I'm not... Wor Whoa, we're having a face-off here. He's trying to get out of the way, buddy. Can you not go around? Oh my goodness, this is going to go bad. Oh, first time the trading port's coming to town and we have collisions all over. Uh, no, but I, I, yeah, I don't expect the bridge to be a problem, but... Hmm, yeah, now we have these trading ports. And technically what I should do is I should have put the trading port, like, for aesthetic sake, like, away from the bridges. Because, yeah... He wouldn't have sails anymore. Anyway, I don't mind. It's, it's of course, that's going to happen. Hey, well's done. That's sure swell, because I built a new house here. Oh, I don't even need to give them some welcome cash. They're already doing nice and fine. So, all right, the boat's coming into town. Oh, I love it. Pretty, pretty cool. There it is. There it is. Let's get some screenshots as she comes on in. Let's get her past the bridge. Boom. Yeah. Oh my. I expected, you know, some benches and some new decorations. I did not expect a trading port here and now. So that was a pretty cool surprise for my Saturday morning. And I hope you guys are enjoying checking out the new content. Get on yourselves and uh, check it out on... I like that Ostrov is now available on Steam. It's pretty cool. More accessible to folks. Um, Alright, so I did hire a manager. I don't know if that's going to make it to where, like, you know, trading is possible. I don't know if I needed to do that. Let's actually click on it. 
Build a trading dock and hire a manager to be able to create new river trade routes. Assign workers for loading and unloading trade boats. Add resources to export stock so traders can buy them, we know. If you delete a resource from stock, it will be treated as available for use by the town. Very nice. Okay, keep in mind that river trade is suspended during winter months when the river is frozen. So they did already think that out, which of course they did. So here he is, my boat's here to where my walkers going to work, taking a rest. So he's here. He's got the salt. It's just my folks aren't uh, ready to do anything about that. Also, oh, you know, I wonder if we're going to load the sunflower onto this boat. So let's go full speed. There he goes, loading up the boat. Or, I should say, unloading the boat. 900, and there he goes. Did he leave with anything? No, he did not. Interesting. I know I said... Sell... Let's see. Did I not? I thought for sure I didn't. I thought I hit 28... And I was like, you got yourself a deal. And then nothing. Is it not enough of a deal? Hmm. Hmm. All right, they're coming up. Bringing the salt away. So that that's still good news. For 20 cash, I can go talk to the salt town. And we're going to be able to get a lot more dried fish going. So the sunflower oil thing... I look at that. Uh, it's the wrong type of season. Ooh, unemployment's actually not too bad for us having everyone working the farms. Um, what is our sunflower situation? Oh, we only have tw 12 sunflowers left. Um, hmm. All my sunflower oil's over here. So I'm going to say... Yeah, I'm going to let it ride. I'm going to let it ride. We'll see how it does. Yeah, see, we still say the 28's here. And I don't see any movement in boats. And the messenger is now gone. So, importing is good. But uh, exporting, we shall see. Uh, but I'm going to look into that. And unless that's... Nope, that's just the boat leaving. Yeah, I'm going to look into it. And uh, if I find out anything, I'll just let you know next episode. But unfortunately, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it right here. I think we did enough. We built it. We checked it out. And uh, the new benches, I mean, they're loving it, right? I mean, there's, there's, there's no, no ifs, ands, or buts. It's all just loving it. So, I'm loving it. I hope to see some more stuff like that. Look at that. We've got the ox going. Plowing fields mighty fine. I did get another ox for over here. For this farm. Which was sweet. And uh, things just keep on keeping on. And you guys do the same. I'll catch you next episode. Uh, appreciate the updates to the game. Patch 4. I'm digging it. Is it wrong of me already going like, yeah, let's go patch five. I mean, I've had like one day of patch four and I'm, I'm so needy. All right. Well, anyway, I will catch you all next time. Take care.